cold blood. Uh, a spin. And move that way. The, the kind of levels where you're kind of jumping out into the void um, in order to make progress is... What? Oh, hang on. I reckon... Uh, I reckon I don't go to the right. I thought this level was going to be, hey, you uh, you keep moving to the right. It is kind of cool looking. I noticed there's something in the parallax. All right, those are those are obviously bad. Like there's something in the background that's sitting over the top of other stuff. I can't see it well on my monitor. Ah, right, okay. Um, the black level, like there's a little bit of a push down towards black when things are quite dark on my um, the monitor that I'm playing on. Yeah, all right, so we go up. And it's icy as well, if in case you couldn't tell. So yeah, I couldn't make out what those details in the background were. All I saw was just black on black. Um, and then there was something obscuring them. It is, it's a nice look, but I, I don't see it particularly well. On my, on the display I trust the most, which is the right hand side one. Um, it looks similar to the CRT. This one here has got everything sort of, the black level is really pushed up, so you can see finer detail in, in dark areas. It was good for the FPS games. Oh, that's a bad thing. Oh, it's a it's a spin. It's a spin. Oh well. Uh. <laughs> yep, that's how that's done. Uh, there's something. I knew something was going to come down from there. I just you could hear. I was about to say it. Usually, I'm not one of those people that's like, "Oh, I knew it. I knew it." I, I try not to say that in retrospect, but <laughs> I think we could all see that one coming. You could be onto something. Hup. Jump. Go down. Wait. Jump. I'm, uh, the way that I play this... Sounds like I'm practicing for a uh, the voice activated Super Mario World run. All right. So what was the troll there? You just hold right and then go bloop straight into it. Who's to say what came first? <laughs> we can all we can all try and guess, but it's uh, it's really just a. Oh, all right. So what's this gonna do? Oh, it did look uh, very creative. You know what I do in that section? I actually just throw that block. I don't need to squat drop it. Is that the right terminology? Is squat drop? <laughs> if not, that's what it's called now. The old squat drop. Hope you like it. Because that's... Uh, <laughs> and, and the way the physics work, but... You know, it was, it was kind of fun. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, that kind of goes back to the thing where it's slippery, so I try and do it earlier, but then it doesn't come out early enough, so I, might, I just need to compensate for how long it takes for me to press the button and for it to actually uh, land on the P-switch. Alright, so... There we go, all right. I gotta collect the coin. Oh. oh 
Oh no, what are you... What is this? Oh, suspense. Oh, yes. All right, so I don't know what I did. I guess, I guess I just went slightly earlier than I thought I had to go. I noticed something about the overworld. This, this looks familiar. This, this reminds me a lot of the original game. Does anyone else get that vibe from that? I like that that's from Super Mario World and we're looking at um, whatever it's called. Butter Bridge or whatever. So the left would be Vanilla Dome, like a, sorry, Donut Island or Donut, whatever the hell it's called, Donut Plains and then Vanilla Dome. And then on the right, it's the castle before you get down into, into Forest of Illusion. Back and forth. Do, should I play another level? <laughs> it's getting kind of late. That door looks really sus. Oh. Is there something up there or is that like a soft lock city? This level is strange. This level is strangely, uh, strangely nothing in it. There's nothing going on. Like these are regular jumps. So. See a checkpoint, you gotta take the checkpoint. Alright. Oh! I'm not complaining, I'm just. It, it's the calm before the storm. But I see there's. The level's called back and forth. <laughs> yeah, there and back again. I didn't see a keyhole though. Like, I feel like a keyhole would have been really obvious if, if one had shown up. But, I mean, the fact that you can go backwards through this level is kind of implying that you should. Oh, I wonder. I had to go up there. I mean, I can still go back. What? What happened to my key? Okay, so if I don't have the key... Looks like I can still go up there. Streamer doesn't know. Yeah, that's the sound of a sprite destroyer. So I'm thinking, what, what was the point of the key? What, what would the... Why would I need the key? If I can just jump up there. Tip, holding up while tonguing with Yoshi will make him eat one tile higher. What secret? So that's, that's nothing. Can't go back in, All right. You're in it, okay, so this is the secret. Well, it looks like, it looks like a, a bunch of pain right now. So where's my Yoshi? She's up there. I need to hit the on-off switch. Um. Uh. Okay, but there's nothing over there. And the only thing I can think of is maybe there's like something cool to do with the eerie. Ah, all right. Uh, except a throw, and uh, and that should that should throw it. Okay. Oh, what was that? 
Oh, an invisible muncher. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I, um... It's probably extremely visible. I, I just didn't see it at all. Okay. Yosh. Feed the Yosh. Oops. Oops. Oh, what is wrong with me? There we go. Okay. So Yoshi can eat things. He can tongue things. One tile higher, which we all knew from back in the day. We all did that. That doesn't work. Feeding baby deserves it. Okay, so what happens if we... Okay, so if we put the key over here... Uh oh, where did I where did I jump from there? And now where do I actually use the key? All right, so ah, oh, I need to take the key down. There's a springboard that seems relevant. Oh, did I just hit another one of those invisible visible munches? But. We're going to use the key. No! Hang on. I need to get the key out using the Yoshi power because that is the graphic of a sprite destroying thing, which we could not see when it was... Uh... So that must have been the thing that was off screen that killed the key the first time. So feed him and then... Yeah, I didn't know what that little net thing was. I don't think, I don't think we've seen that in the hack yet. Uh, so, Yoshi, we need him in order to get up, and we need to leave that there, leave it, leave it, put it there, and then we go down, we jump over, we eat the key, but then, aha, uh -huh. thing is, we need the key, because we're throwing it at the block, and then... And then trying to get it back. Okay. Oh, hang on. This would be easier. This would be easier if I just used Yoshi. Oh. I just did... Uh... Right, and then we test the springboard. We can get up. Great. All right. The, uh, the puzzle is solved. Hmm. Like, hmm, maybe. Maybe. This was a while ago. This was... I don't even know what summer is. I mean, it's summer right now. So I guess, what, like six months ago or something? Six to eight months ago. Oh, okay, so. Key acquired. Springboard. Okay, now. Is that a platform down the bottom? It's going to cost you five dragon coins to leave here alive. Excuse me? Um, never seen a dragon coin in my life. You ever remember seeing any dragon coins in this entire hack up until now? I do not. Um, they're probably in. They're probably in other levels. You're right. Uh, yeah, oh, actually, did I try to go in the door? Maybe I didn't even try to go in the door. Alright. One sec. I went in the door. Alright. 
Yeah, I know. It's because I don't, I don't know what the game is. It was such a strange game. I Blue Ribbons played it. I remember watching watching Blue Ribbon play it. It's a it's a ROM hack that's all in black and black and red. Um, and I I had no idea what's going on. Okay, so if you don't mind some back seating to save your hours of searching for something that's not there, no, I I do not mind that at all. I'm not uh, I'm not one of those. I'm generally, generally not a back seedy sort of person. But hey, it looks like, um, looks like the dragon coins are here. So, that's fine. I just, I just thought, like, when it said you need five dragon coins and I saw a gold door, I was like, hmm, maybe there's some dragon coins back in the main section. Nope. Well, when you get up to it, when you get up to this part, um, you can stay in front of the big boom. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, that's what I'm gonna try. I just, uh, I'm not good at going fast. Uh, that, then, oh, okay. I know that it means absolutely nothing to some of you people that are already up way beyond your bedtime. Okay. Oh, Alright, so ninjis, give me the key, you absolute nerds. Oh, that's the death. That was the symbol. That was the, the symbol that means that you shouldn't go there. I'm playing SNES ROMs now. <laughs> go back to sleep. Yeah. I love SNES ROMs. Yeah, actually, a game I want to play pretty soon is Axley on the SNES. It looks pretty cool. It looks like a cool uh, shoot 'em up. Cool shmup. Hey! I did good. What? 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 Hey, there we go. All right. Do you get the impression that there's another exit? Because that was the secret. And apparently ghost house. Ah, <gasps> oh, okay. I think I know where the key goes. All right. So this up there was not the real exit. But I think you did mention it was the secret exit. Knowing more about it makes that part way scarier. Well, you thought that the, um, you thought the goalpost had, like, despawned or something? Because I, I don't know a lot about S&W. And was, was it set up to make it look like there was some sort of sprite overload or something? The side exit usually just... Oh, yes, the side exit one. Okay. Yeah, I was a little bit confused about the side exit. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have been happy about a side exit troll. Okay, so now, hold the jump button so we can fall with star. Actually, no, I don't think this needs a jump button. There we go. Oh my god, just talk to me. I need to know what you're trying to communicate. <laughs> Your fingers twitch good, maybe. <laughs> I think, um, look, Magar. Oh, right. My Twitch. Understood. Understood. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm very, uh, yeah. I'm not good at reading text and stuff. The way you instantly react to things. 
and the surprising thing is that it's I've been doing this for like three hours now and usually I go very much downhill after about two all right coins I like coins oh I'm gonna keep following secret routes so that's gonna be this is where we're gonna go next I guess we go clear all the secret exits and then clear like all the secret routes. It's annoying because I'm already on a secret route and now we've just got another secret within the secret route that's pushing me over this way. It ends at one second, right, right. Yeah, I thought I, I thought I saw it sort of hang on one second when I thought I'd died. Twelve rooms. This is going to be cool, I guess. I'll get really good at these eventually. Okay, so... Ah, uh, see, that's why I want to get rid of the platforms. <laughs> so much baby rage tonight. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh! Why a toothy emote? I don't know, because... It's cool, toothy emote. <laughs> uh, what's his face? Uh, Odin was like, kept telling me... Like, oh, those clouds. The clouds in the game look like teeth, and I, I don't see it myself, so I thought, I'll make I'll make a little picture that's like the cloud thing that's extended out so it has roots like a tooth. And I thought, well, I don't really have an emote slot for it, but it's kind of funny, so I'll just, I'll stick it in there. I'm not telling anyone to tier 2 sub or anything. Um, I just wanted to put it there, because <laughs> I thought it looked funny. I didn't really look at the timer. I should should have a look at the timer. I feel like the timer saved me at some point. I thought I was going to die in that room, but I'd made enough time. Alright. Two, one, there we go. Disco time. I guess I can just stay here. There's no real reason to go to the other side, is there? Oh. Um. Well, that was a certainly a, a test of psychological strength that I possibly failed. So, <clears throat> yeah, would you look at that, huh? <clears throat> a checkpoint. I mean, it just said 12 rooms don't die. It didn't say... You know, the point of the rooms is to not die. This is going to be a fantastic room. And, uh, something about timing and patterns and, um, all that sort of stuff. And I, yeah, that's, that's not my thing. And I can see, I can see, like, his love of those things, uh, within the game. You could see that, but I don't think I was there at the time. Right, right, right. He's, he's all about all these, like, fiddly patterns that you've got to learn. But once you learn it, it seemed like it, it makes sense. Now, what was this one? This was the uh, volcano plant. They, I feel like, I don't know if they're getting harder. Or if I'm, it's just things that I'm not good at doing. There we go. Alright. Oh! I thought that was a real mushroom. Would you believe, would you believe me if I told you that I thought it was a real mushroom because it looks the same as the other one? <laughs> it's all happening so fast. I was, I was bracing myself to be like, all right, what's the action I need to do? What am I going to be falling into? So this is room two. I just got to... Okay, so I haven't seen room four yet. <laughs> uh, oh, the fact that you can bounce on them makes that really easy. Alright, so that was only three. Unless this room counts as a room. So that makes seven. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> ah, little penguin. Oh. Oh, okay. It's a spin. It's a spin there. Spin. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is the spiny dodge the magic thing. Try not to get wrecked. High bounces are good there. Oh no. Man, I thought I thought I had a sequence. Also, I think everything is icy in this section. I don't know what that section is, like how the timing works there. Hey, I'm uh, I'm playing a a level in Hark Bros 2. It's the end of the secret exit route. There was one secret exit that kind of really went off track and it also, there was a secret exit among the levels that were that were part of that sort of side track. And now there's a castle at the end of it. Alright. So this is the last set, I guess. We've now done 10 levels. Oh, sorry, uh, 10. We've done the 10, we've done 10 rooms. I guess there's two more. The Golden Buoys. H to the power of three. I guess that hit the platform below. Our little resonant frame. Yeah, all right. So when four buoys come together, they form resonant. I think I think I've finally figured out the pluralization of um of Resnor and how that works. Resnor is the whole crew and Bui is the singular. Oh, actually, you know what I do? I think was that one of those bouncy blocks? I, I I'm not sure what that block indicates. I'm going to assume I just throw it. And then I get P-Speed, but it's a spin P-Speed. I'm not a big boy yet. I need my training wheels. Oh. While he's flashing. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't know. Well, it's, it wasn't obvious to me. I thought I've got to kill it. <laughs> I'm. Uh, you know, you're not here for the brains. <laughs> or if you are, I'm sorry to disappoint. Okay, so this uh, this guy is going to be firing. So once again, someone has got a hard on for shoot 'em ups. Someone loves their loves their shmups. Playing we're playing bullet hell. All right. Bowser, are you done? Is that the end? Yes. Oh, that didn't take very long, did it? It was like half hour. Thereabouts. Yeah, we'll say half hour. Closing time. Anyone else? Anyone else hear a song in their head right now? Some semi-sonic? You'll need to find all three switches if you want to pass over the bridge. I don't think I have. Uh huh. <laughs> I've not found all three switches. Well, that is the end of the secret path. <laughs>